All right, listen, YouTube, don't click away. Don't fast forward. If every single person who has not subscribed, click subscribe right now, we would hit 100k subscribers in one day. One day! But you're not going to do it, are you? You're, you're already clicking away. You're already clicking fast forward to skip this part where the man tells you to click the subscribe button and the notification bell. I have never once asked for it. But let's see if we can speed run today's 100k sub goal on YouTube. If you're not subbed, spam that button. But don't click it more than once because you'll unsub in the process. All right. That's all I want to say. Enjoy the video. This is a weird matchup because I think I can't really pull anything in. I'm attacking on evens. I mean, on odds. And I do need vulnerables. This is pretty good, actually, on four. It's a good defensive play. All right. Inscription's perfect. I'll trade this any day of the week. Lord to Masters and then we can meme. I'll see what I'm going to play. I'm not sure what I'm going to play to Masters yet. Uh, it's still a work in progress. Hey, and Arashun. Happy, it's not my birthday, dude, but thank you so much for the 10 months of support, buddy. Thank you, friend. Thank you very much for that. It's a lot of damage on board. And there's nothing he can really develop here because of Rolling Sands. I'm quite happy with this. I think this is pretty good for us. I could have actually not played this. Like, what can you really develop with a 3 attack unit? Nothing. He might kill this off with a 3-1. I'm not going to complain. That's absolutely fine with me. Absolutely fine with me, sir. Never complain about that. Never will. Lurk playing control. That's what it seems like. Good for us, man. <laughs> Good for us. Hmm. How do I deal with that is the big question. I could pop this down, but am I really trading a 5-4 for that? No, I'm just going to pull it in next turn. I'm not going to block it. I'm going to pass. I'm never blocking this with anything. So I'm, if he wants to attack now thinking it's a good time to attack, I'll let him. He might pass back thinking... I mean, he's burning 3 mana. Let's, uh, let's drop this down for now. Okay. Now things get interesting. So. I'm hoping he drops a really big 5 drop. So I can just drop and stun it. And then he's in trouble. I don't know yet. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. Ah, oh, this is scuffed. I had to draw cards. He might play one more unit. I should have played this first, actually. I should have just played that first and okayed it. I could pass here, but then he has massive value coming down. I, am wearing my goggles. I think I simply have to attack with everything. I probably do this, actually. If this is going to die anyway, I probably just attack with everything this way. At least I'm pushing more damage here. Yeah, I, I think this is the play. Even though I'm not happy with it. We're still pushing really good damage. Like, he's not the 5 HP. Okay. And we have blockers, and we have delays, right? So Waste Walker next turn is looking decent. Okay, um... I mean, Waste Walker doesn't really proc much here. Maybe I should be hard mulliganing for Waste Walker. I want to play um, Rock Hopper plus Explosive. They they 
I don't think he has any more one drops after that. <laughs> Wanna see what it does? Let's drop this down. So the the plan is the following. We're gonna play um we're gonna play Treasure Seeker, give him a chance to buff this for free. That's pretty close to lethal. Um, is there any reason not to play this before I play the other one? Open attack looked really good. No, because he has um, bone skewers. He has other pikes. He has he has a lot of stuff. I'd rather generate value on board. I think I'm generating more value than he's doing otherwise. So now everything attacks like this, right? I think this is correct. Like, keep in mind, he, he spent all of his 1 and 2 drops already. So even if he has the pike card, I'm still winning exact lethal here. See? He, he spent all of his early drops. He has 2 mana left. I think um, developing is better. Okay. Alright, we got ourselves a win here. So we know there's a couple of MVP cards in this deck. Um, this, this, this isn't bad. I'm actually, this is the first time I've seen Endless so far. Oh, now the question is, do I want to play... Okay, so this... In three turns. Okay, three turns is actually just enough time for that. To drop down the... What's his face? Alright, so he has a bad start. He has no one drop on odds. That's horrendous for him. So we, we're playing Waste Walker into... Unfortunately, we can't play Desert Naturalist after, but... Still very solid. He wastes Predict on the non-attacking turn. That's great for us. Um, Waste Walker drops down here immediately, I would say. Unless something crazy happens. What can really happen, though? It's not a big deal. Um, this will block the 2-3. I could also play Endless here, but I think I really want to start buffing this. I wonder if I block the 2-3. Well, this one I never block, but I'm thinking about this guy. All right, so this is going, going to be a 4-4. Four, four. Now, um, I, can, I can easily open attack here. Which I think might be wrong. Because he doesn't have many 4 attack units. I think developing this, the Suicide, is better. Because then I can play Desert Naturalist next turn. I can play Desert... And if he plays something big, I can always hex... I can always hex it. Right, let's party here. We've got a pretty good open attack. If he's going to let this go to face, I'm happy. It's it's more than I can ask for. Interesting. Okay. I'm, I'm not mad at that. Listen to me. That basically just literally ruins um, the entire point of getting this vulnerable. So, that's excellent for me. It's a good turn. I save this always for Renekton. I mean, um, Rek'Sai, sorry. And this turn, I'm usually playing Desert Naturalist. But there's an argument to be made for playing Rock Hopper plus Ziggs. So, Rock Hopper, very easy blocker for that. I can block with either one, to be fair. This is a great blocker for future annoying cards. If he plays the auto attack 0 2, I can block it with this. Yeah, we're just going to play Ziggs here. Ziggs is looking spicy. That's 1 2, he's 3 out of 4. And if I play this, that's not enough. I wonder if I play Preservarium first and just save him for, like, endgame lethal. I mean, are you not going to proc your alert? Alright, um, Ziggs drops down here. I could have not blocked, but then I don't have Sarcophagus into Desert Naturalist, so... Kithiana, you got to see this new board! A little busy now, Sammy. Later! Hey! Wake up! He's drawing Rex next turn, will work. If he plays it, I can just stun it. I mean, I wouldn't even stun it, to be honest. 
I have to swing with everything. I can't be afraid of Rek'Sai. It's a blocker, but it is what it is. He can block whatever he wants. Be my guest. It's still solid attack. I mean, we need to put his damage in if we can this turn. Like, even if he blocks the 5-3, he's still not the 7. He blocks this, he's down to 5. Okay. Does he have Bone Screw? Even if he does, it's not the end of the world. Arsenal is looking spicy. He's going to be down on board our next attacking turn. One for you, and one for you. So he actually blocked the lesser of the two. Pretty easy preservarium here. He summoned it as a blocker. He, he thought I might not attack with everything if he summons it. Because it was a free block for him. And like I, I'd be like, oh, you're going to lose a Rexay if I just pass. So maybe that was his uh, his hopes. Now, if I can find the really big uh, three mana card, I can play this next turn instead of the, instead of the arsenal. This is really spicy. Wow, that's a really good card. Um, that's fine. It's still a one-for-one one trade. Let's draw here. Absolver's amazing. Pass. He wants to kill this. Wow, he doesn't kill it. Okay. Um, I'm gonna play this just because I have Absolver. I need to level a champion. Leveling a champion is just way too strong. Uh, Absolver is just a win condition now, that I can't really be afraid of. Okay. It's pretty spicy. Makes no di Wait, is that his last card? Is he out of cards? Oh. Then I just win. GG. GG! You're out of cards, brother. I'm sorry. Wait, he can't even block enough stuff. It's just, I don't even need to use this. Thank you, Puku. Thank you for the massive support, buddy. I appreciate that a ton. I really do appreciate it. Right. Guys, I need to take a bathroom break because my stomach is not acting up well. I don't know what's with my stomach. I gotta go again. I'll see you guys in like two to three minutes, maybe even more. Be right back, chat. Don't worry. All right. What is this monstrosity of a deck I'm seeing here? One, two, three. I like the curve here. So, if he plays the one, one, do do I block it? I don't know. It's a tough question to answer. Now, unfortunately, this is probably not going to ever see play in this game because I assume this deck at least runs one copy or two copy of, um, what's the dude's face? I forgot his name. I don't think we ever open attack here because of Pokey Stick. Pokey Stick could literally mean zero damage to face. Did you wash your hands? Yes. Indeed. First time seeing you live. What's up, Theropia? Hope you enjoyed the stream in that case, if it's your first time seeing it. That's a very good trade, by the way. Wow. It's a very, very good trade. Alright, Ziggs is enjoying the landscape. But, on the other hand, we've got a really spicy rock hopper if you want it. I think this is correct. I think we go for Desert Naturalist onto the Rolling Sands, I think. Because if we draw Renekton, it's different, but... I'm pretty sure this is right. This is way more value. I think than getting a Vulnerable or something. Because that just puts a huge board to, to block. Now, do I ever attack with the three ones? I don't know if I attack with the three ones or not. It's a tough question to answer. Okay, I have to attack with the three ones, basically. I'm forced to attack with everything. He can double block them, but then he's taking five to face, or at least two to face. And he is playing PNZ, so these three ones have a very limited lifespan. Might as well trade for these guys. 
I'm assuming this is the OTK deck. So yeah, he's taking two to face like we discussed. I think this is the OTK deck. Um, the one that runs Glorious Evolution. What are we at? Three out of four. That's pretty good. Um, you've destroyed four plus allied landmarks. It's a shame I can't destroy because we know for a fact he has a landmark due to playing the 3-2. He played Bomber Twins, so it's a fact he has it. Alright, so we're, we're we're ahead. We're ahead at 2-4, basically. I need to find more landmarks, though, to really proc this and start pushing serious damage. Also, if I level Ziggs, my Absolver gets a lot better. But we have a lot of landmarks here in this deck anyway. There's one. That's pretty solid. I can play Explosive Minefield into Desert Naturalist, or... That's the play. That's the play for sure. Explosive is the desert, and then I have Ziggs plus... Oh, wow. Beautiful. Actually beautiful. I'm going to actually play Ziggs first now, because I want to stun her next turn. I don't want her blocking. This is way more solid. This is a way scarier play for him, for, for us. Yeah, that's a tough one to deal with. Now, he might mini morph my unit, but... That's a lot of value it is. We're, we're valuing very hard here. And at 6 mana, he doesn't have many blockers. And the fact that we have Absolver in hand, which is a 1 of, is kind of insane. Absolver here is absolutely insane. And if we don't get lethal this turn, we have Arsenal next turn. On our next attack. I mean, we're always attacking with everything the moment he plays a unit. We don't care what unit it is. And this makes all the difference. We're three off lethal. Well, we won, right? If he plays it like this, we just win the game. Dive bomb! He has no way to stop lethal here. Only question, what am I buffing? Repositioning? Am I just putting everything on a random unit? Who do I buff here? Well, at this point, it doesn't matter who I buff. I might as well just go up Zolver on this just to keep it alive. Just in case something really weird happens. Right? This is the better play, so if somehow he has a way to survive for 1 HP, which he should not have, I'm able to finish this off. Alright. Nice. Very close game. Um, I think if we didn't kill him that turn... Well, then again, we did have Ziggs alive, and he, Ziggs is pushing damage, but we had no landmarks either. If we dive bomb one more time... Guys, Pokey doesn't kill me. Chill. You dropped something. Let's get rid of Decimates if you... Oh, no, 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 no! Game! Game! What are you doing? I, 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 it's not possible. Jesus Christ. I'll let you off easy this time. 